Thomas slowly pulled into the yard beside Percy. He was getting to his long, hard work in the freight yard, checking trucks and calling trains and stuff. Hello, Percy. Hello, Thomas. Um, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be on the branch line right now? No, unfortunately, my branch line's been closed thanks to some accident, some recent accident that has gone down down there. What are you doing here? Well, I have to help shunt cars for some big train James is pulling. I mean, it doesn't make any sense why some traveling my hat would make us shunt trains. We should be out there actually pulling or helping the railway. Well, we are. I mean, one of our branch line, well, one of our um, sidings has broken down and there's really nothing left of it. It's just leading to a ravine. If we can raise enough money, we could possibly fix it and um, turn it into something else other than that broken siding. Whatever. Alright, just go shut the trucks over there, Thomas. Okay, Percy, whatever you say. James came to the yard to get his train. Hurry up, please, he said impatiently. You know, the least you could do, James, Thomas said to himself, is at least appreciate what we do sometimes. James ignored Thomas and then left. That silly, stupid things. Always pushing me around thinking they're smart. Well, I'm the smartest person on the railway. I mean, I'm just a, oh my gosh. Driver, watch out! Driver! Oh no! Uh, just, just then, an alarm sounded. James has just had an accident down the line. We're going to need your help. Someone's help. Stephanie, I'm going to need to break down train immediately. Donald and Douglas, I want to need you guys to take away the freight cars. And Thomas, just stand by for any further orders. Man, looks like he didn't listen to our warning, Percy. Well, we're going to have to help him out of this one. James sat quietly as he was suddenly pulled away by Thomas. Thomas was happily pulling him along, knowing that he wouldn't be able to see him for many weeks or possibly months. James soaked to himself, watching his tender get shunted into a tidy siding, ready to get filthy for the entire week or months. And that's the end how James got brought into steam yards.